Hello, my name is Ademi for Clueless Junkie. In this video, I'll be showing you how to calculate cost of reinforcement for a new building project. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and join. I will be happy to have you. At the end of this video, you should be able to calculate the cost of reinforcement for any building. I hope you find this useful. Let's jump right into it. Requirement to use this video. You'll be needing detailed drawings for the building plan floor plans and uh, engineering drawings that's um structural drawings with uh, details for the footings and foundation that is and this is my sample floor plan this is what i'll be referencing what i'll be using for this particular video and then you need a pen and paper to write and jot down the values or an excel spreadsheet if it's available or if it isn't you will be needing a calculator uh, that's to add up the values for the estimated reinforcement and such and uh, so that that's it about the requirement for using the video and then next thing we'll talk about the procedure firstly we're doing calculations for the substructure and these are the parts beneath the ground under the ground now we're talking about column footing meshes and then we'll calculate for column starter rebars and then the footing rebars and starters for the foundation walls then we'll do for the ground floor beam and um, the staircase starter rebars and that's about it for the substructural part of the calculation we'll be doing then we'll do for the superstructure which covers everything that's above the oversight concrete so we're doing calculation for the column extinction rebars the first floor beams the staircase rebar and uh we're doing for the slab rebar as well and um that's about it so moving on we're going to start with the first part, which is the substructural part of the floor plan. And then we're going to come up with, a li with this list uh, on the piece of paper and specify the, the type of rebars, Y20, Y16, Y12, Y10, and then a remark space for taking notes. And the first item is column footing meshes. And for my floor plan here, I'm using a very basic square floor plan, so it, it's easy to comprehend. I have the footing details clearly shown. If you don't have this, it means you do not have a, a structural drawing. You definitely need a structural drawing to work. So from the details provided in the structural drawings, I'm going to get the unit length of mesh and then add the values up. And then sum it up, that gives me the length of one unit and the number of units in the mesh. Counting the mesh is 16. And then there is a total of four meshes on the floor plan. So four times 16 gives 64 pieces. And then from the 64 pieces, how many lengths can be gotten from a regular length of iron? And the average length of steel rod is 12 meter. So we're going to divide 12 meters by 1.8 and that gives us a 6.6. .6. That has roughly 6 units. This, the 0.6 becomes an off cut. So one length of a steel rod gives 6 units of mesh rebar. Remember, we need 16 units to do just one mesh. And there is a 4 meshes, which is 64 units. So we divide 64 by 6 and that gives us a roughly 11 units of uh, y16 we're going to be using y16 iron for the column footing mesh and then from the y16 now we're going to get in 1.2 meter 
off cut and 4.8 meter off cut. The second item, column starter rebars. So the column starter rebars look like this. You know, it's got four units of rebars. And then what really determines the length of the rebar is the depth of the foundation trench and uh, the height of the oversized concrete. Uh, well, these uh, measurements are usually specified in the structural drawing. So all you need to do is get reference the structural drawings and get, get these values added up. So we're going to add in the 2.7 plus 0.3 meters and that gives us the 3 meter up there. And that's the unit length of the column rebars. Uh, average length of steel rod is 12 meter. And then we, if we divide 12 meter by 3 meter, which is uh, the length of a rebar for the starter column, that gives us 4 units. So 4 units, we, we have 4 units of um, column footings. So if 4 units equals to 1, will give us 1 length. If 1 column is 1 length of steel rod, so 4 similar columns will, get, will require 4 lengths of steel rod. So we can come here to the list and then put the 4 under the Y20. So for column ties, we need to deduce what the length of each tie is. From the structural drawing, we can make reference and get the details for the column ties. So we'll add all sides and the hook, and that gives us 0 0.8 meter. So how many starter column ties do we have? Yeah, we've got about nine for each column, and there are four columns on the floor plan so we we'll do 9 times 4 that gives 36 and so divide 12 meter by 0 0.8 which is uh, the length of uh, each column tie that gives us 16 pieces so 36 divided by 15 gives 2.4 length so that's uh, roughly 3 length of y10 for the ties for the column starter rebars and then uh, there's going to be 7.2 meter off cut from the y10 moving on to the third item footing rebars and uh, starters so the footing rebars these are for the foundation wall trenches it's optional sometimes so the length specified here from the floor plan we're having 3.27 meters and then for each trench we have three lengths of that rebar so 3 times 3.27 is 9.81 an average length of rod is 12 meter so we divide that and that gives us a uh, four length of y12 and then there's a uh, off cut which is a uh, 2.19 meter there's four off cuts of y12 iron after we're done with that now we we'll do for the chairs what's going to suspend the rebars so add from these details here we add the values up and get the length of the individual chairs so there there's about three chairs for each trench uh, each trench becomes um 1.24 times 3 and that's 3.72 meter so for all the four trenches we would multiply the 3.72 by 4 and that gives us 14.88 meter and 14.8 meter is roughly like a, a length since we have an off cut, white and off cut from item 2. We can put one length there and then where it's not enough, we use the off cut. Then the rebar, that's the starter rebar, is about uh, 1.35 plus 0.15. And then uh, for each trench, we have 1.5 times 4, there's 4 units, so that's 6 meters. So for all the trenches, we have 6. Point six times four and that gives us a uh, two units of white of iron so we add it up to the initial four units of white that is there and that gives us a total of six iron so moving on to the ground floor beams item four for the ground floor beams the floor plan shows that the beams are the same length so we do the beam main bars and we add the values up which is a uh, 100 for the anchorage and then 4.92 and then plus another anchorage. There are five bars in each beam. It is showed clearly in the section for the beam stirrup. And then there are four beams. So four times five equals 20. 
unit of 5.12 meter bar and then one length of 12 meter rod gives two units of 5.12 meters with off cuts and then 10 lengths of 12 meter rods will give us 20 units of 5.12 meter so we go back to the list and then write 10 lengths of y16 iron and then um, on the remark we put the 1.76 meter off cut and then go on and do the beam stirrup so what is the length of each stirrup from the drawings we can tell the sides so we add the sides up and then that gives us a total of uh, one meter yeah one thousand millimeters and then how many beams stirrups do we have on the drawing there are about 24 stirrups for each beam and there are four beams so 24 times 4 equals to 96 stirrups how many lengths of 12 meter rods is needed for 96 stirrups we divide uh, an average length of rod 12 meter divided by the length of each stirrup which is one meter and that gives us 12 pieces so 96 divided by 12 equals eight lengths so we need eight lengths of iron for the beam stirrups so go on and note that in the on the list so y10 iron eight length no of course then the number five item is staircase starter rebar i'll be including this in the extended version of this video and i'll be making the video available shortly i hope you learned a thing or two for the superstructure is to include the cost estimate for column extension rebars first floor beams staircase rebars slab rebars that wraps it up i hope you learned a thing or two thank you for watching please subscribe catch you on the next one